Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. Alright, so let's see what we got going on for the water signs. We're going to start off, I think, with Cancer. I always start with Cancer. So we'll see what's going on for you. This will not resonate with everyone. Please take what fits and leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart. Please keep in mind that every reading will not resonate with you, okay? So if you're interested in finding out more about your situation and you would like to book a reading with me, please hit that like button for me, For first of all. <laughs> also, um, yeah, look in the description box for the link to my website in the notero1122.com. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you being here. I'm Lisette, and it's nice meeting you. All right, and uh, let's see what we got going on here, Cancer. Some of my cards aren't turned around, so I'm not sure which deck I'm going to use yet, but we'll figure that out once I get started. All right, let's see. All right, Cancer, I see you. Okay, I see you. All right, so, oh my, that's what I thought. You got the Ace of Wands here. Okay, you got the Five of Swords in reverse and the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay, some someone here... Might have been having, um, I don't know if you're in a relationship here, but if you're in a relationship, there might have been some drama between you two. Maybe some arguing, fighting, smart mouths going back and forth or whatever, you know. Um, whatever this is, sweetheart, it kind of looks like you guys have found the passion again, okay? Ready to rekindle this thing and get it back moving. You realize that this person is your soulmate here and whatever was going on between you two really um, hit home. It, it had you worried and stressed if this thing was going to actually, you know, get back to where it's supposed to be. Okay, for those of you that are single, you, it looks like you might have someone coming into your life, a brand new start here that's getting ready to spark up. Um, there might have been some type of mental conflict going back and forth with yourself. I don't know if I should do this, man, kind of fighting with it or whatever. But, you know, you got somebody that's coming in. It seems like they're kind of matching your energy, you know. So it looks like you want to actually take a leap towards this, okay? So let's see what else is coming out here. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. All right. So someone here is definitely walking away from something else. Probably um, you may have been dating around or whatever, you know, kind of, you know, mingling back and forth with other, with other people. Um, but it kind of looks like, you know, somebody is ready to give up their, I was going to say play away. So I guess someone here may have had multiple people. Maybe that was what the conflict was about. Huh. Maybe someone here had, uh-oh, uh I'm going to leave that alone, but someone here possibly had other people that they were dealing with and uh, it caused an outbreak in a relationship here, and it looks like you may have been on the outs with this person, your person, and uh, someone decided to say, you know what, this, all of this right here is not worth what I'm, I'm about to lose here. You know, someone that you could actually build a home with stability. And with these rabbits here, I think someone, you know, hey, we might have more babies or have some babies. There might already be children here. All right. But uh, I do see the potential here for, you know, more. So either way it goes, the passion is definitely here. And you guys may be going at it like rabbits. I don't know. Let's see. Give me more. I thought I saw something else. Okay. Give me more for cancer. All right. Yeah, there was something going on here in this relationship. Someone probably felt like, you know, their person was dipping out here. Okay. And this basically caused some type of stress, anxiety. And uh, yeah, it kind of looks like things kind of blew up here. But I kind of see that things are actually calming down here and not being funny yeah what did i say there was competition here some drama some drama okay yeah because somebody <laughs> somebody couldn't keep it in their pants i'm just saying yes 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 and didn't know that their person was watching every move that you made 
Oh my God. So whoever this is, Cancer, I'm going to put it like, you know, this is your person. Um, your person may have been creeping with someone else or whatever, and they might have, you know, had their head full, you know, just uh, all in their ego, enjoying what they're doing and going from here to there or whatever. And they didn't know that you were peeping game, watching everything, everything, everything. Okay. So yeah, you knew it all. Oh, yeah, so you may have started holding back from this situation, sweetheart, keeping the nookie and the cookie and everything else to yourself because this person was holding secrets, all right, and everything came to the light. But it kind of looks like, uh, at least I'm thinking this is, yeah, it kind of looks like you guys are no longer arguing anymore. And it looks like a new start here. Justice is being served. Yes, somebody has received their karma. You might have walked away from this situation and just said, you know what? It's either me or them, period. I know my worth. I'm not going to settle for less than I deserve. And, uh, you know, just like I found you, I could find somebody else too. How about that? All right. So I think... Uh, This uh, situation here, this person running about and you walking away really changed how they see this scenario here. This possibly promoted this person to actually grow a bit. All right. So it looks like this person is, is trying to, um, if you guys are on the outs, this person is trying to actually come in and heal this situation and actually, you know, move it on over to the four of wands. This person actually might come in with some type of marriage proposal. Yeah, because this person seems, sees you as the empress here, sweetheart. Um, pretty much. Also, like I said, with this uh, four of wands here, you might want to be careful if you don't want no babies, especially since the empress is showing up here. All right, so let's see. Uh, what deck do I want to use? We'll try these. All right, let's see. Give me more for cancer. Oh, yeah, somebody was thinking about this a long, long time. You know what? You may have been separated from this person or just like the energy just like really split here. If you two are in the household together, someone here was just running amok, not, not paying attention. They thought that they had you right where they wanted you and that you want you everything is out of your control sweetheart they thought wrong man did they think wrong and then when you switched up that energy they're like whoa 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 wait a minute hold on all right so now this person is coming in with some type of offer here but it kind of looks like you're still holding back not really it's it's almost like you don't trust this person so you've got one foot in the door and one foot out of the door you got a lot of love for this person, but you're not really showing it. You're not really showing it. Okay, so ooh-wee. Somebody's very prideful here. Very prideful. Yeah. Somebody realizes that you are, they are very happy with you, and you got in some type of clarity about the situation, too. Justice is being served. Yeah, see, your, your intuition was telling you everything that was going on. Your intuition is also telling you to get up out of there. Wow. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, what did I just say? Because someone here, someone here is an intention whore, attention seeker. They want their cake and eat it too. And with the King of Cups here, you're like, you know what? Yeah, I love you. But what we're not going to do is this Five of Wands here. I shall not be in the middle of no drama. It's either me or or we got to, you know, I'm, I'm done with this, period. So with the Ten of Swords here, it's clarifying death, but it falls over here on the King of Cups. Like I said, you got some love for this person, but you learn to love yourself first. And this person is really reaping karma for, I hate to say it, but somebody here is a little hooker. Hookers get paid, but this one's just like, <laughs> I 
you get the one, you get the wop. I'm just saying, just sprinkling it on everybody, my goodness. And I can literally, literally see that. And it's a trip because outside of this King of Cups, there's no cups here. So I'm kind of wondering with this relationship with you, was this person considering this just, you know, sex as well? Yeah, see, somebody is really broken hearted. This, this hurt, this hurt someone. This really, really hurt someone. Somebody was really invested in this situation. There was some harsh communication that came here. And someone decided to say, you know what? I can I can focus on my own stability. What I don't need is this BS in my life. I could do bad with you and do better without you. Literally. My gosh. Well, that took a turn. Yeah. Okay. Somebody here is really arrogant. Really arrogant. We got the Six of Wands wanting to show up upside down here. Somebody's pride is really hurt. Oh. Somebody also feels like they lost the real one, too. So, what I'm getting here, which is kind of not what it started off to be, what I'm getting here is that somebody was being very promiscuous here. There was a lot of drama going on. Okay, what we're not going to do, we're not going to argue about this. Mm -mm. You may have mentioned something to this person about it. But you notice patterns. This this was not the first time that this person has done it before, but they swerving down that they weren't. They were being faithful, and they weren't. They got caught up not knowing that you were watching every move that they made, like I said. Or, if you no, know, somebody was watching this person. And if you was praying about this situation... Your source, guys, ancestors, and all your people, your spiritual team, allowed you to see some things, get proof coming your way. You could have been looking for it, but I'm just saying, you were able to find it. So what we're not going to do is argue about the situation anymore. I see what you're doing. So what I'm going to do is just back slowly up out of this, and I'm moving on. And now this person is in deep regret here. Ego is bruised because they thought they knew what they were doing. Yeah. This person wasn't given equally to this situation. I'm so tired of these people. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. So, the thing is, is what is this person trying to teach you to do besides move on quickly? Their controlling behavior comes from their insecurities. Okay, so like I said, this person literally felt like you weren't going to go anywhere. Oh, I got you. I got cancer. Cancer ain't going nowhere. Now, cross watcher, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. This could have been cancer doing all this stuff. You know what I mean? That's how it is with tarot. We're just reading the energy, sweetheart. So if you know that this is not your side and it's actually flipped, flip it in reverse it how it goes. All right? Wow. Not being funny, you might have been settling for less than you deserve. It's not that bad, but it wasn't that good. But it seems like you got that tired of it. All right, the past. They're lying about you, about your past, something worth looking into. Okay, so like I said, this person may have been lying that um, about their past endeavors here. This person was wearing a false mask, telling you everything, possibly getting combative. When you ask them questions, inquire, your inquiring mind wants to know, and the first thing that they do is get defensive to try to hurry up and shut the conversation down. And possibly, someone here possibly even got an attitude and got to the point to where they were enraged when you brought it up. That's possibly another reason why you stopped saying anything about the situation.
Wow. Hidden feelings. Something is bothering them, but they are choosing to stay quiet about it. So this person has some issues here. There's a reason why this person is doing this. They are attention seeking here. They have some insecurities here. This person could have, and I'm not giving this person an excuse, but this person may have had someone reject them. Okay. And from that, they just turned into someone who pretends like they don't give a damn, just going from here to there. Somebody possibly um, bruised this person's ego very badly. Um, pretty much made them feel like they weren't weren't worth anything, okay? Um, they were probably cheated on, left for somebody else, you know? And this person made it up in their mind that this is never going to happen to them again. So they started doing people how they were done. And not being funny, but after being in this energy for so long, this is how this person's energy is now. My God. But I think here, this behavior has caused them to lose a real one. And uh, this, this hurt. This really hurt. I'm trying to figure out, did it hurt their ego or did it hurt because they lost you? I think it's kind of both, but like I said, I'm concerned that there's not a lot of cups here. Give me one more. Cover, they wear a mask to pretend to be something that they are not. We already know that, okay? Hmm. All right. It also says this person might be into some unusual things here, you know. So this person could be bisexual. They could actually be, you know, in the S&M, BDSM, whatever it is. You know, um, I don't know. But, yeah, that's one of the cards that came up over here. So that may or may not apply. So, anywho, we're just going to keep on going here. All right, let's see. What other messages do you have? For cancer and cancer, I'm gonna put it to you like this, sweetheart. We could talk about these people all day and their behavior. Oh my god, what did I say? I knew this was gonna come out. This person is very promiscuous, very promiscuous. That's why the cups aren't here. Sleeps around a hoe, a free fall, sleeps with your man. Oops, this person could actually, if this is a male. This could be someone, like I said, that is bisexual. If this is a female, this could actually be someone that actually sleeps with their friends, people, and things like that. You know what I mean? But what it is is that we could talk crap about these people all day. You know what I mean? All day long, and it is what it is. You're not going to change this person. This person has to change on their own. Um, there's no sense in dwelling on this bad behavior from this person. This person came into your life for a reason. Is there something that you need to heal from? Especially if you notice that there, you've been going through this with this person for a minute. Okay, there's a reason why this person is in your life. You got to set some boundaries here, sweetheart. Put your foot down and mean no. No means no. And sometimes you got to walk away from some people that you love and start loving on yourself. Okay, especially when you know that uh, you've taken them back and they're continuing this behavior. They don't give a damn. Okay. Oh, no matter what, they're going to take me back. Okay. So now the thing is, is that now you got to focus on healing. All right. And not focusing on what this person has done. Focus on the things that happen in your life with this person and figure out what it is within you that you got to release so that you don't pull this entity back into your life again. Not only, and I say entity because the spirit that this person has, this, this, this spirit that this person has will actually show up in someone else. And you'll start noticing like, damn, you know, there's something familiar about this person, new person that comes into your life. And what it is, they share the same, same traits, the same habits, the same spiritual attachment that they have that this person has here. So there's something that within you, you have to heal in order to let this go. It could be codependency. It could be, um, it doesn't have to be codependency, but you could be one of the people that are, are like, you know, oh, I can fix this person. I, I, they just need help. And, you know, I'm understanding and things like that. But in the meantime, sweetheart, you are getting old dealing with this person's BS. Okay. So just take that in. 
All right, this person is possibly meeting people in the most unusual ways and things like that. Um, they could be meeting people online. They could actually be meeting people out, you know, at the gym and things like that if this is what they're into, okay? Uh, this person is very flirtatious. Like it says, it's very promiscuous here. So there's that. All right, and like it says, outdated, uh, discarded, old news, uh, disused, uh, expired. So it's like this person, um, they play games, and this person has a way of, in other words, they have a way of, of, of working the room or whatever, or, or how they pull other people in. All right. And they never really switch up on how they do this. Okay. Not being funny. This person might have pulled you in like that, using some of their tactics and things like that, you know, or what this person may do is, you know, get into a conversation with you and ask you questions and see what motivates you and, you know, how, what, what are your weak spots or whatever. I always equate people that are like this to secondhand smoke. Sometimes you don't see it. You don't even smell it. But that smoke comes in through little nooks and crannies, little bitty tiny spaces. All they're looking for is just a little bit so they can infiltrate your space, okay? And they're toxic, caustic, okay? And it'll cost you a lot. So there's some healing that needs to be done here, not only within this relationship, but within yourself as well. So you, you don't allow people like this to come into your life. This person also might have... Um, a past and then we got to get in the room they might have a criminal past here if not things could actually have escalated where the police were involved or could be involved here you know so just be mindful of that and don't let nobody take you there you understand what i'm saying it's not your freedom is not worth that and neither is your health period this person might be the type of person like i told you when they get uh, pissed off when you find out things about them, the first thing that they might do is jump defensive, okay? So my thing is keep yourself safe, okay? And do what you need to do what's best for you, boo. All right, and it says under spiritual attack, fighting off negative energies, fighting off spiritual, fighting a spiritual warfare, needing to clear your energy. Yes, yeah, so pretty much you are, like I said, you're dealing with an entity here, all right? Dark forces. This person may have some very dark, vindictive ways. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, I don't deal with somebody like this. So, and this is like, you know, sometimes people with this energy coming in, they'll have you hitting the internet, looking up what the hell is wrong with this person. I ain't gonna lie. The person I was dealing with, I was looking up demonic possession because something wrong, okay? And yes, and then that's when I found out about narcissism. And wow, you know, so you could be dealing with somebody who is very narcissistic, okay? What I would say is run, okay? So, but a hey, that's on up to you, sweetheart. If you, you got the patience and all of that, then do it, boo. Whatever's best for you. But uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Let's see. All right. I don't mean to preach, but it is what it is. Let's see. All right, let's see. What messages do we have here? This is not what I wanted to pull, but okay. What do we have here? I need some more of these. They're like falling apart. All right, you got stabbed in the back, heartache, I'm sorry, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, yeah. We saw that. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. Yeah, see, that's your side, and this is this person's side. You're genuine here, showing up as a king of, of cups here. You know, genuinely loving on this person, but realizing you have to pull back from this situation because you got somebody betraying you, lying to your face, you know, and possibly talking ish behind your back about you. You know what I'm saying? So there's that, sweetheart. But anywho... I do apologize, but this is an energy. I don't know who this is for, but I'm sending you lots of love and hugs and, uh, yeah, heal from this situation and work on you, boo. You got to figure out if you're happy in the situation, and if you're not, then do something about it, okay? All right, my love. Take care. Bye.